Ornaments are frequently purchased as sentimental gifts, physical reminders of inside jokes, or simply beautiful decorations. Merchise wood ornaments currently have three decoration types, all can cut in a variety of different shapes. Printed wood ornament, one layered printable and cutout shape. Layered wood ornament, double layered printable and cutout shape. Wood ornament cutout, one layered cutout shape. This following tutorial is guide about how to use the PSD templates of printed wood ornament. First off, you'll need to download the product template file included in the product link. Ultimately, we'd recommend working with the desktop versions of Adobe Photoshop, as they are widely supported and also what we use here at Merchise. To edit templates without Photoshop, you will need an alternative that has the ability to work with smart objects. The free application that fits this criteria would be Photopia. Let's start it. First, open the template in Photopia. The template is downloaded from the product detail page in mockup and template tab. When opened, you will see the guide note. Just follow the instruction here. First, turn on design artwork group. Then, double click on the design layer thumbnail to open that smart object. A new screen should open up. Edit or drag the design to the file's work surface. Adjust, place design within the safe print area. Important notes for creating artwork details. Every detailed cutting line weights should be at least 37 pixels. Too thin and small features are more apt to break. Consider this when designing your piece of work. Use the resolution at least 300 dpi to produce the best quality with bitmap or raster files. Again, always use files at the highest resolution possible. Make sure that all artwork elements are connected and combined into a single object. The transparent area in the design will be cut out. If your designs will need to hang, make sure there is space for a hanging hole. Punch a transparent hole inside the artwork. or you can draw a shape. Set transparent fill and stroke with minimum thickness of 46 pixels. and put it anywhere outside of the main shape. When finished designing, then save Smart Object Curl Plus S. Make sure to either delete or turn off with the eye icon the original image. Go back to the original PSD file and you'll find Cut Design and Print Design will be automatically generated. For best results, again, check the cutting line weight and gap in the cut design layer. Make sure they should not be too thin. You can redesign in the print design layer within the cutout shape area. We recommend that your design doesn't have parts that go thinner than two millimeters. Make sure that you turn off the guide layer. 
Then save the design file in and format. Need more advice on file preparation? Please do get in touch via our email or via our live chat.